गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडे वील स्टार्ट विद न्यू चैप्टर द सर्मन एट बनारस बिफोर वी स्टार्ट विद द न्यू चैप्टर लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू वुड यू मीन बाई सर्मन सर्मन मीन्स प्रीचिंग वेन वी प्रीच अबाउट सम गुड थिंग्स बनारस इज अ होली प्लेस इन इंडिया सो गौतम बुद्धा फाइव सिक्सटी थ्री बी सी टू फोर एटी थ्री बी सी बिगैन लाइफ एज अ प्रिंस नेम सिद्धार्थ गौतमा in northern india so gautam buddha when he was born at that time he was known as siddhartha gautam and he was born as a prince at 12 he was sent away for schooling in the hindu sacred scriptures and 4 years later he returned home to marry a princess so when gautam buddha was 12 years old he was sent away for schooling in the ashram where he had studied about hindu holy scriptures and after 4 years of his schooling when he came back he got married to a princess they had a son and lived for 10 years as befitted royalty so after getting married with the princess he had a son and he lived with his wife and a son happily at about the age of 20 25 when he was 25 years old the prince here year to four shielded shielded means protected from the sufferings of the world while out hunting chance chance means saw upon a sick man come across upon a sick man then an aged old man then a funeral procession where a dead body was being taken and finally a monk begging for alms so gautam buddha when he was prince or before becoming gautam buddha he was living a very happy life with his family and he was protected from all kind of suffering which was there in the world but one day when he was 25 years old when he went away in the forest for hunting there he saw a sick man he met a sick man then he met an old man a very old man then he saw a people carrying the dead body and finally he saw a monk who was begging for the food these sights means seen so moved him touched him that he at once went out into the world to seek enlightenment concerning the sorrow he had witnessed so when he saw the so much suffering in the world he came back and he renounced the world he renounced all the luxuries of life he went in the forest to get enlightenment to get the spiritual knowledge he wandered for 7 years and finally sat down under a peepal tree where he vowed to stay until enlightenment came so he set out of his house he left the kingdom and he wandered he moved here and there for 7 years in search of a spiritual knowledge at last he came at a people tree and sat under it and then he promised to himself that he is not going to leave this place unless and until he gets the spiritual knowledge enlightened after 7 days he renamed the tree the bodhi tree which means the tree of wisdom and began to teach and to share his new understanding so he was sitting under the bodh tree is it clear and people tree that is and he had taken a vow that he is not going to leave this tree unless and until he get the spiritual knowledge so he was enlightened after 7 days and the tree under which he got enlightenment he named that tree bodhi tree which means tree of wisdom and began to teach and to share his new understanding at that point he became known as buddha the awakened or the enlightened the buddha preached his first sermon sermon means you can say a message at the city of benares most holy of the dipping places on the river ganges that sermon has been preserved and is given here so after getting enlightenment the first sermon which he gave 
on the bank of river ganga this the writer has described in this chapter that what was the first sermon he gave after he was enlightened after getting enlightenment he was known not as god siddhartha he was known as gautam buddha it reflects the buddha's wisdom but one insurmountable kind of suffering something which cannot be understood i hope you have understood here till now next we are going to take tomorrow